what's the impact of power factor into the power system network let's discuss about this topic today so here is the network i have drawn it's a very simple network it is the grid 110 kv grid sorry this is 11 kv 11 kv and these are the parameters x y r ratio 30 short circuit level is 40 kilo amps and second is the transformer it's the transformer rating i have assigned 2.5 mv transformer typical impedance there is no tap means at principal tap grounding dyn11 and this is the lump load let's say this was 0.415 and this lump load point four one five kV and this power factor is eighty five percent so here the power factor is considered as eighty five percent so we'll work on this lump load power factor only and let's copy this network and I will compare these two So here all other parameters will remain same the only thing is that i will change the power factor of this lump load instead of 85 percent suppose this is 99 percent power factor the only thing i have changed here this power factor and keeping all other parameters are same now let's or run load flow study case and compare okay so so as you can see because of change in power factor in the load here the bus voltage is 97.34 percent here for 99 percent power factor this is 99.35 percent is the bus voltage the power here is 2177 kva it is drawing here 2194 3 one ampere 3073 amps and here 85% percent power factor here power factor is 99% let's check the active and reactive power 1850 kilowatt here 2172 kilowatt 1147 kilowatt only 309.5 kilowatt so the reactive power drawn by this load is reduced but the active power active power is increased here 1850 kilowatt here 2172 kilowatt also also let's check the losses here here the loss is 21.1 kilowatt here the loss is reduced to 
to 20.5 kilowatt 126.3 kilowatt here 123.2 kilowatt so the losses are also reduced losses are less more active power and the bus voltage is improved due to improvement in the power factor and also if you check we we'll check the transformer loading as well because both of the cases we have used 2.5 mv transformer keeping all other parameters same rating also same so let's check this load flow analyzer here go to branch results we want to check only the transformer loading okay here for the first transformer T1 this loading is 90.5 percent is for transformer T2 this loading is less this is 89.4 percent so this is T1 this is T2 that means equipment loading is also reduced so the life of the equipment will be improved losses are reduced so that the penalty by the uh, the penalty by the supplier to the utility user utility consumer will be less because based on the kva uh, based on the kva penalty will be imposed so so these are the advantages improving the system power factor this is a simple example if we go if we go further um, detailing uh, for a complete uh, for a complicated network or system network where the uh, grid source is suppose 110 kb or 220 kb or 400 kb so in that case the scenario will be uh, will be more considerable here you can see this power factor is less 82.68 here the power factor is over over 90 percent almost unity so 98.11 percent is so there are some grid um, grid uh, requirements grid regulations are there in some cases you will see that the grid supplier will not allow below 90 percent is power factor so 90 percent power factor should be maintained at the grid level otherwise they will impose the penalty to the utility consumer so in that case you need to consider this case when the power factor should be improved above 90 percent not 82 percent if it is less than 90 percent is it will not be acceptable by the supplier so this is the importance of power factor in a power system network